Now we like to bring in different voices for our show. We do this in our segment called Pass the Mic and we have on comedians because we love to laugh here at 7 p.m. and it's hard for me to tell jokes and laugh at the same time. I try, but it's not easy. Today's topic is a wild story out of the Midwest. An Iowa man's tombstone caused a stir in his community after they found a hidden message. Steve Owens passed away last September and on it read forever in our hearts until we meet again, cherish memories known as our son, uncle, father, papa, uncle, friend, and cousin. The way it was spelled out, it wrote F off vertically. Now his family said it was his term of endearment. Now the community is preparing legal action to try and get it changed. Yes, the community is preparing legal action. This entertained our team greatly. So I brought in my friends Randolph, Terrence and Andy Klein of Three Guys on Pod to discuss your reaction to this Randolph. As a comedian, I'm actually really impressed with the length he went through. Like he, you know, he had to sit and compose that over and over, just looking for the right combinations of words and the right combination to get the message out succinctly the way he wanted it said. He wants to be recognized down through history like that. I think he should be allowed to. I don't, it's yours. The, the tombstone's yours. Just imagine the ones that were vetoed. Mm. You know, they, they were probably way worse. I think if you lead a profane life, you should be able to have a profane death. And it's also weird to be concerned about words when you're visiting the place where all the bodies are buried. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're already in a cemetery and especially I, I would say at least 50% of the people in that cemetery, that was their last word. Most <laughs> likely. Maybe it was preceded by something like, Oh, and then that word, or like in the middle of a sentence, like you gotta be kidding me, but like right in the middle of that, but most likely everyone in that cemetery said that word right before they died. Now, I tend to be on you guys' side of this. I'm, I'm fully in favor of this. However, I recognize it might be a slippery slope as everything tends to be here in America. So are there things that you would find objectionable to be on a tombstone? As long as it's clever. If you can do it cleverly, I'll, I'll let clever win. Actually, let me, let me be more specific, Randolph. Would Jack Del Rio be free to just put whatever he wants on his tombstone, Randolph? Well, here's the thing. We know Jack Del Rio's not clever. <laughs> I don't know that I would have ever noticed this. It would have taken yeah. it would have taken me having to accompany somebody else to the cemetery and being super bored and ready right. to leave for me to have figured this out. He he probably got buried with his middle finger up. You know what I mean? Like we don't even know how far they took this joke. We have no idea. We may never find out how many layers there are to this thing. Now, do you guys recall the guy who had the funeral and they played his voice and it was like him talking from beyond the oh, grave? Yeah, yeah. Remember that? That yeah, was that yeah. was that was hilarious. I appreciate that we're opening up the studio space, so to speak. We're opening up the funeral space for comedy. Right. And you know, Lord knows that we need more live shows. So Yeah. I support all of this. Well, there was that rapper who had the party at the club a couple couple months ago in D.C. People got mad at that, but that looks tame now compared to this story. Ah, uh, the party <laughs> at the club was. Uh, I felt a little different about that one. I'll be I'll be a little <laughs> honest. I felt, because it was some innocent people that were there to mind their own business. They they didn't come to show any level of respect, and now they can't enjoy their night out because. Stiffy McStiff Stiff is over here watching their every move. That's the thing about the tombstone. The tombstone, you have to know it's there to, to know it's there, or you just kind of figure it out. What you gonna, you gonna walk by, what's that, a mannequin over there in the corner looking at us, what is that? And then it's, oh no, no, that's Billy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's not quite the same. Yeah, he's making it rain our tears. I have no idea what I would have picked as my acronym on the tombstone. I don't know, something like SWV or BBD or ABC, NWA, uh, Oaktown 357, something like that. If you want to hear more from Andy and Randolph, they host a podcast called Three Guys On, which I highly recommend. Check it out wherever you get your podcast.